How are you doing, Marty? I'm good, you? I am very, very well. It's really lovely to get the chance to talk to you because uh, I was really intrigued in knowing how they managed to recreate Young Eleven in Stranger Things, which is Young Eleven is you. You're playing a young version of Eleven. So what was what was that like? And what was it like getting to work so closely with, uh, with Millie Bobby Brown? It was very cool getting to work with her. She is really kind. She's so nice. She is very good at, like, helping. And she's a great actor. But when I say, like, helping, meaning so we had, like, these really hard scenes. And every time I would need help, she would always step up and do it and help me. So it was, it was really kind of her. And she's such a great actor. And it was great to meet her. And what what little tricks uh, in the in the, like as far as an actor did you get to learn from her? Um, so I don't know if you saw this, but there's this one video of yep. me, her, and Matthew Modine, and we were doing jumping jacks. <laughs> um, and you're very good at that. <laughs> there's and, um, one. Oh, sorry. No, go on. No, go on. Sorry. It's okay. There's one reason why we were doing it, and it's because the scene that I was doing after we did that was me killing one and turning him into Vecna, and we were doing the jumping jacks so that I could get heavily breathing, and I, I would breathe more heavy, and it would see that I was struggling and everything. Oh, well, that, that really comes across. Well, that scene is incredible, by the way. Very, very good work in that scene. Um, well, we, we wanted to know a little bit about how, how casting was. So, like, how did you, how did you get the role? What well, was that process like? So, in the audition, I had to cry, which is hard to do on demand, I, you would know. And... Mm. I so that was definitely hard and but it was great filming it was definitely worth it worth it and I loved doing it I had to do a couple tries but eventually I got to it and also because of COVID like it took really long to start shooting and to like you know them to bring it out to the world on Netflix so that took long, but it was such a great. I loved filming. I hope that I could work with these people again. Everybody was so kind, and it was great filming. And you did you like really get to feel like you were a part of the family when you were filming? I felt really comfortable there. I felt really appreciated, and it was great working with them. So I would say yes, and be, feeling that I was being able to be part of this was such a dream come true because I've been a fan of Stranger Things since I was four, and I even have a stuffy of the Demogorgon that I had since I was four because he used to be my favorite character. It's this one right here. Um, oh, that's so cute. Thank you. And... I like being able to see these people, act with these people, Duffer Brothers, Millie, the whole amazing cast was just a dream come true. It was so amazing. I loved it so much. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, four years old though, wasn't it a bit wasn't it a bit scary at four to watch Stranger Things? Well, I'm sure it probably would have been at some point, but I don't know. I liked it. I like there's something about it that just I don't know what it was, but I was afraid of the Demogorgon, but I his mm. he was my favorite character for some reason. <laughs> Even though he did not will and like I don't know, I liked him. You so, like monsters. I guess so. I mean I still do, but <laughs> <laughs> that honestly, that's the first time I think I've ever heard someone say, I like that the, the Demogorgon is my favorite Stranger Things character. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> not anymore. Very original. But... No. 
he's not anymore, but he used to be. And um, so, what what would like what would the most challenging part of filming Eleven be for you? What 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 did you find that was quite difficult? Well, especially since Eleven is already a character that has been made by Millie, mm. um, I had to make the way I was doing it because I was acting as her as close as I can get to how Millie created her. So that was hard because they had to be like, you know, pretty spot on on the character, how she already was. But the good part is since I've been watching the show for so long, I and the whole cast was there. Millie was there, which is like the person who has been perfecting it for like ever. Um, they all taught me and helped me. And I think that I did pretty good on it. And I'm proud of my performance. Well, honestly, you really should be. Because when I when I started, when I watched season four, I was really puzzled as to how they managed. To, I was like, is this a completely CGI character that they've done for Young Eleven? And then I found out that it was you that was actually doing it. And I was like, wow, that's, it makes it's it's very impressive <laughs> to say it's really impressive. Thank you. It's really kind of uh, you. Well, like um, one one of the people that we've spoke to before was uh, Tristan. So Tristan Spawn, who uh, who played uh, two in the series, and um, we we got to, we asked him a little bit about working with you because uh, you do there is a, a scene, quite a, some quite tough scenes with him. And I was wondering, what was it like filming some of those some of those harder scenes in the show? Did you had to talk about crying before? Did it really get emotional? Yeah, well, especially since you said like I have to talk about crying, so yeah, like I have to cry. So it was emotional because you know a lot of us we were crying and stuff. But the like it was it was sad. I mean. Especially because, like, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it was a bit emotional. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, uh, to especially doing a show, like, during COVID as well, which is kind of, must be kind of weird, I'd imagine. Well, um, I mean, it wasn't much different from another film, but... Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> well... And... Uh, how, how, like, you must have, you must have had to keep this secret from your friends for quite some time before being in it, did you? Yeah, I had to keep the yeah. secret for how long since it's out now, which it just came out, meaning like two, three years. So, yeah. but the hard part is, so right when my mom told me that I had the audition for Stranger Things, I was, I was really excited because you know I wasn't too young and I already have been watching this show for so long and yeah. I had a friend over yeah. so I was all excited and she was like why are you so excited like it, I, you just went in the kitchen for like two seconds and you're already so excited what happened and I had to make up some excuse because I couldn't tell her so I had to be like my mom said we can go to Disneyland or something like that and she'd be like okay <laughs> but yeah, it was hard, especially for keeping yeah. it for that long. And you're a fan of the show as well, so I'm pretty sure you just mu must want to just tell your friends that you're going to be in it. Yeah, I just wanted to let it out so bad. It was so <laughs> hard, but now I can. So, so yeah, it must feel quite nice being able to talk about it finally, and people being like, "That was you. That was you as young eleven. Have you had that from some of your friends?" No, not really. No. I mean, kind of, well, oh, yeah, honestly, yes and no, because some of them, they were, like, looking at it, and they were, like, they, I don't know. I would say, yeah, probably. Yeah, and one of the actors you got to work with, you talked a little bit about him before, was uh, Matthew Medine. Um, yeah. What was it like getting to work with him? He's a bit of a, a legend, and uh, you know, Doctor Martin Brenner's probably one of the best villains in the show. So, what was it like working with him? 
Well, Matthew Modine is such a kind and nice person, and the funny part is he plays a cruel, mean, evil character, but Offset, he's so nice and kind, and he's just the total opposite. So it was great working with him, and I definitely hope that I can work with him in future films and projects. Oh, that'd be nice to work with him. He's uh, He seems like a really nice guy, and uh, it's another thing that Tristan told us about Matthew was he was very kind and then he kind of switches <laughs> he becomes this this very cold character it's amazing some of your scenes with him were just brilliant and um another villain that we were talk we uh talking about a bit was uh, jamie campbell bauer plays uh plays vecna uh did you ever get to see him in costume on set in the full I did get to see him in the vecna costume I did get yeah. to see him on the offset, you know, as either friendly orderly or, you know, just his self, but I did not get to see him in the costume, sadly, no. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Um, actually, I, I mean, a bit of a question for, like, accents and stuff, because I'm uh, a bit of a, like, you can hear I'm British, and you got to work with quite a few Brits in this show. What was it like working working with them and hearing them switch from British to American accents just like that? Well, one I can already think of from the top of my head is Millie. She's British. Yeah. Um, it was kind of cool because I have been trying to be British because, you know, I like British. I like that type of voice. It's, it's cool. I like the accent. And I've been trying to do it, especially since Harry Potter. I really love mm. that movies and the all of them so i've been trying to you know be british to like reenact some scenes but i can't really do it and the fact how those actors and millie like they can just they already know like i don't know my accent i don't really have an accent but you know they know how to switch from british to to american and, yeah yeah, I mean it'll it'll come. You just just you know listen to Millie speaking, uh, miss, listen to Jamie speaking normally as well, and pros possibly me. You'll be able to do it really quickly. I'm not going to put you on the spot and ask you to do a British accent because that's not fair. Um, so w what's next for you? What, what what are you working on next? I can't really say that. It's more of a secret, but I'll say okay. like what I would love to work in and I want to work in like scary films, but I can't really say what I am working in. Well, you're already doing a scary show. You did a scary show. So now it's time for a scary movie. Yeah, I just really like, especially since I did this and I got the feel of it, I really like doing scary projects and stuff like that. Do you, do you have like your is do you have a favorite scary movie? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh, that's that's a really good film. That I, I'm so I think your your parents or your mum must have really good taste in films. To, if, if, did you watch it with your your mum? Beetlejuice. I watched it with my whole family, but my sister actually picked it out. Oh well, it's a, it's a really good movie. Um, yeah, I think Beetlejuice is one of my favorites too, actually. It's a very really? good pick. Yeah, I it's, really love that film. It's a really good one. It's my favorite movie out of all movies. It's just my favorite. But the cool part is my favorite character is Lydia Ryder. Lydia? Yeah. Oh, no. no. Lydia. And my one of my favorite actors is Winona Ryder and in Stranger Things, she's also one of my favorite characters. Yeah, she's really good. She's she's good in everything she's in, isn't she, Winona Ryder? Yeah, she's really good. I love her. She's such a good actor. And you you mentioned before you were a Harry, Harry Potter fan. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? I'm a big fan as well. I like Dobby. <laughs> That's no one says Dobby, but Dobby is a great character. A lovely, lovely character. My my favorite. I, I always liked. I, I loved Hermione growing up. I really got. I really mm. liked Hermione. It's a big fan of Emma Watson. So Hermione was always my favorite. Yeah, That's cool. she's really good. Oh, she's very good. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. And um, you know, honestly, you are terrific in in this. And it must have been really difficult because 
like all I can't imagine all the CGI stuff that was going on as well. Like that must have been kind of crazy. Did you have like spots on your face when you were, when you were filming? That was the only yeah. different thing, though. All I had was black spots on my face. Okay, all right. And I know that there's this there's a particular scene um, that, that there was a behind the scenes footage of you and and Millie doing the um, the mirror scene where you were like kind of mimicking each other perfectly on either side of the mirror. And you did that in real life. That's what Tristan told us anyway. How, how was that doing that, having to do that scene? It was really hard, but me and Millie went in this room that had like a window mirror in the middle of it yeah. and we practiced it. But it was really hard trying to mimic. But, but you did it really well. We did do it on actual, like, it wasn't any editing on that. We had to mimic each other. So that was cool, though, because I like doing mimic games, so that helped. Well, it it worked very, very well, and I was very, very uh, impressed by everything that you got to do in this show. And hope to see, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what you do next, and uh, hopefully in a, next, in a horror film, maybe. Who knows what's coming up? Thank you so much for talking to us, Marty. I was very happy to meet you. You are very kind. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.